Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerdvana Reactions. I'm Anna, and today we are checking out Fourth Impact, doing a cover of Leave the Door Open. Um, the only person I'm familiar with in the lineup of people who originally did this is Bruno Mars. So, I'm not sure if I've heard the song or not. If I have, it's probably just in passing on the radio. But, I almost always like Bruno Mars songs. I just don't go out of my way to listen to them. So, there's a good chance if I have heard it, I like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. If you enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you got plans? You got plans? Don't say that. Shut your trap. Sipping wine. Sip, sip. In a row. Drip, drip. I look too good. Look too good. To be alone. Ooh. Ooh. My house clean. House clean. My pool warm. Pool warm. Just shake. Smooth like a newborn. Hey, we should be dancing, romancing in the east wing. Her voice reminds me, and this is going to probably sound pretty weird because it's not really a similar song, but she's giving me like Bonnie Tyler vibes. I heard her voice and I was like, I'd really like to hear holding out for a hero or to the eclipse of the heart because it's that same powerful and yet very vulnerable sound I guess so if you try I don't know if the original song sounded a lot like this or not, so I can't say whether it's their choice or a choice from the original, but this is just like both the set design, costuming, and the way the song sounds is giving me like 1950s or 60s vibes almost with like it's almost like that old school Motown feel much of love we could be making along talking kissing cuddling rose petals in the bedtime point this jump in this I'm starting to see more differences in the lead vocals and pick out their individual strengths. Still not solid on the name, sorry. Um, but yeah, even as I'm starting to see more of those differences in the lead vocals, I'm just still blown away by the harmonies they're getting because these sound perfect. 
like they are nailing it spot on. I drew that comparison to Motown, it could also be equally comparable to Whitney Houston or anything of that similar era of like the early 90s. Oof. But um, another thing that I just, I don't know if they've done it, but I feel like with the harmonies that they're pulling off, they could. If anyone knows whether they've done anything a cappella, I would love to know. Because it sounds like they've got the chops for it. guessing that there is a older school vibe to the original song, both because I don't feel like they would arrange it that far from how the original was done, and because the idea to go with the disco ball and stuff like that, it feels like it's not a reach. So yeah, I'd love to know more about this song and answers to those questions and yeah I just can't get enough lately um if you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next